we're going to be starting your website, getting the proper templates set up and also getting the proper system set up for you to have success. But to do what we got to do, we got to click on here and then shift over to the agency view. This is what you're going to see inside. And then you're going to click actions and click load snapshot. Now in the description below, I'm going to have the word snapshot hyperlinked to where I need you guys to go. But pretty much you guys are going to click on that. And then once it's loaded back into your account, just click on here again. Real quick, I just wanted to chime in. What you guys are actually watching right now is one of the many videos inside of my free course. Inside of there, you guys are going to get access to this entire template. I go through all the steps to set up your SaaS company from A to Z, and it's all free. I just want to let you guys know. If you guys are interested, the link is in the description. Now back to the video. And load snapshot. And then it should be in here. And this is the one I need you guys to click on. It's going to say imported SaaS website and onboarding. And then you're going to click proceed. And then you're going to click proceed again and not worry about any of these conflicts. There's a few conflicts, but just press proceed and then it'll be imported into your account. So now we're back at the dashboard where we uploaded the snapshot to, to that account. And we're going to click on sites and there it is. This is part of the funnel and then the actual websites right here. So, Congrats guys, you guys are one step closer to having your website in this whole process. So let's go check it out real quick. This is the regular stock images and stock website and template that you guys can go and import your own information. We'll go into that more soon, but these are also the plans that you guys are gonna be providing. So I'll go into that in a minute as well. But first things first, we gotta link up our domain with our actual website. So we're gonna click here. I'm actually gonna click ignore because I'm tired of seeing that, but we're gonna go to settings here. We can rename this to Whatever, I'm just renaming it to test account, um, GHL. And then select domain for website. You guys are gonna see what I have here, testing.quarrysystems.com. You guys should have your domain there that you had from the previous module, whatever you inserted. And now we're gonna press save. So I copy and pasted this into the domain and this is normal. So don't freak out yet. We gotta do one last step. We gotta go back to our settings. Click on domains over here once again, and then you're gonna see this pencil icon. You're gonna click this and then select the default page as the test account, GHL, or whatever you named your website to be homepage. Now click save and see what happens. So let's refresh. There we go. There it is. We got everything set up, but this is the default layout. This is the default template. You got all these things, all these cool graphics, and you guys have all these different things, the reviews tab, we can go through go to your contact page. You guys are gonna be able to put in your own information. Just overall a clean website from the start. And by the way, these buttons do actually work if you click get started. This is a form that's already been built. So say for example, someone comes across your site, they're gonna put in their information and then see what services they need and then press submit. Once they press submit, you're gonna get a notification immediately. And they're also gonna get a follow-up notification saying, hey, thanks for contacting us, blah, blah, blah all that stuff, but we're gonna set up that automation later on. And also guys, this is amazing as well. This button also works already. It says watch demo. This is a fully white labeled account and fully white labeled video by none other than Dominic Baptist again. He was so cool enough to integrate this for everybody. You guys don't gotta change anything to this. It's literally perfect. If you want to keep it super personal, you can re-record this video and then upload it uh, from Vimeo or whatever video platform you'd like. But if you don't really want to, you don't have to because he already has it integrated in here. This will save you so much time and so much effort and energy when it comes to getting new clients and also showing them and showing them all the aspects yourself because you don't have to. You're going to have this demo video to show them. But now to actually customize our website, I'm going to show you guys how to do that briefly. But it's not very difficult. If you have any experience with ClickFunnels, it's pretty much uh, nearly identical. I do prefer the Go High Level system more though because it is just cleaner in my opinion. But let's go take a look and show you guys what's up. So this just finished loading here. This is the default logo, obviously. You're gonna click this. You guys can go down to adding a image. Where is it at? Here we go, add a, add a brand logo. And now you're gonna take the logo from Canva you guys made a few videos back and you guys are gonna click here. You guys are gonna upload a file and then you're gonna upload whatever picture you had. I just I literally just took a random picture of a PNG and then your logo is gonna be here. What you gotta do though, if it's not fitting right and it looks too big, you guys can change the height or width here. You guys only wanna change one because otherwise it will get kind of distorted. So let's change our logo to just being 150 pixels. That's still a bit too big, so let's do 100. 100 is still too big in my opinion, so let's do 75. 75, 80, or 90 will be perfect in my opinion to have a clean logo up here. And if you guys wanted to as well, you guys could just have a clean logo like this 
or add your name here. You guys don't really have to because your name's already up here. But from that point onwards, guys, you guys can customize all of the copy to whatever you want. Uh, as of right now, I actually still have this image on my website. And just to show you guys how it works, you just type in here anything you want. Obviously, you want it to make sense, but for the video and for the uh, tutorial, I want to show you guys how it actually works. You guys are going to press save anyways and okay anyways, and then you guys can press cancel and keep. It doesn't really matter too much to update the metadata. At least to my knowledge, I may be wrong on that, but I have never changed the metadata. But let's upload and or refresh the page. And as you guys can see, the logos here and the new copies right here. So it's very instant. And you guys just saw that form pop up immediately. It automatically pops up. So anybody that visits your website is going to be, you know, notified with that form, which is going to create even more leads. Something important to keep in mind too, is this is just the desktop view. You guys can see this little desktop up here. If I go to mobile view, sometimes it's really weird, but sometimes uh, some things don't update. And you guys want to make sure that everything from desktop actually carries over to mobile as well because so many people visit websites on their phones and you want to make sure it's clean on the mobile view as well uh that's actually one thing that i kind of forgot to do when i set up my website half of this stuff did not save from desktop but once i went to go check the mobile view like half the stuff i entered did not save it just doesn't carry over for some reason so as you guys are updating your website make sure you're bouncing back and forth between these two to make sure everything is clean and updated on both ends if you want to go through here and actually change all the separate pages by themselves it's actually right up here and you guys can go through each uh, each tab here pretty much I want to call them but right now we're going to the pricing tab because I want to show you guys what it looks like and actually how you can customize it to whatever you want it to be and here this is just the default as well it's super clean as it is already so if you guys want to change it go ahead if not then you really don't have to but this is pretty much the default plans they have set up when we did go ahead and sign up and import this snapshot you guys got this website plus these two funnels and this is one funnel here for the essentials plan and this is another funnel for the professional plan and you guys can change this pricing to whatever you want and then you just have to go into your settings and actually change the numbers to whatever you decided to be i don't recommend adding any more than two plans because any more than two plans you start to overwhelm any potential clients because they're like oh i have too many options here i don't know what to pick so i would just change these to whatever you guys want though you don't really need to go over 500 bucks though per month. You you can, but I don't really recommend it because you're going to start to see a drop off for people that want to sign up for your service. Maybe not though for certain local niches, but that's just through my experience so far. So whenever someone interested that actually comes across your site, they're going to want to click on these buttons. You guys can see it's not linked to any website URL. So I'm going to show you the website URL that we're going to plug in here for them to actually sign up under your contract. These are the two funnels you guys have. Let me ignore that. You see the funnels I was talking about? These are the two funnels that are right here. So what we gotta do to actually add a website URL here is we actually have to go back to our domain settings. And now once we're in domain settings again, we're gonna click add new domain again. So what you guys are gonna type in is the name of the plan. It's gonna be essentials or professional or whatever you guys decide to rename them to. And then you're gonna put your domain here and then press .com and then click add. So. Once you guys are done doing that, you're gonna actually link this. It's gonna say yay and you know, all this stuff. And then you're actually gonna link the domain with the essential funnel. So you're gonna go to the checkout and then click link domain. Now we bounce back to this tab, press start now, and we're gonna paste that new domain uh, into what it's gonna look like at the website. So let's actually press save now and see if it works. Like once again, uh, I usually just press cancel and keep. So let's save, I'm gonna preview it, and let's test it out. So there we go, this is exactly what we wanna see. We don't have any custom logos or anything yet because we haven't edited this page yet, but by clicking on Start Now, this has brought us to the checkout page where we want our clients to enter their information and they would sign up with our software. So we're actually gonna repeat this entire process and I'm gonna fly through this with you guys because I don't want this to take too much longer. Let's go back to settings. Here we are back at settings and now domains. We're gonna click add new domain. Here I'm gonna put an S at the end because my current actual real domain is without the S and it's gonna, it, won't, it wouldn't work if I did that. So just for this test, I'm doing professionals, plurally, .com. Now we're gonna click add. Here we go, select funnel, professional plan and check out. So we're gonna link the domain again, and there we go, now we have it added. Now we're gonna go back, select professional plan, go to settings, and then we're gonna select professionals, save, and there we go. So, all right, so let's copy and paste this into the URL. 
So there we go. I literally just repeated what I did for the essentials plan, but for the professional plan, as you guys can see, the number's different because the two plans are different. If you guys do need to watch that uh, several times over to make sure you're doing each step right, go ahead because I remember the first time I started doing this, I was forgetting the certain steps to link up certain pages for my website and I was wondering why it wasn't working. So nine times out of 10 is because you're forgetting to add a new domain and then you know in, in the new page and funnel settings actually assign the domain uh, to this page and always press save down here because uh, sometimes it's easy to forget. Of course, if you want, you can rename these to whatever you want, and that'll just make it more custom to your own branding. And once again, guys, while I'm at it, don't forget to change the stuff on desktop mode and mobile mode. You guys wanna change both views. But before I do move on, you guys do need to change this as well for the professional plan and the essentials plan. So you guys are gonna click on the confirmation page, and now we're gonna click edit. So here in this template, as you guys can see, we have all this information already filled out. This is automatically going to be your email populating here. And if you guys wanna see which email that is, you guys can go ahead and press preview. Uh, same with your phone number. And obviously you guys are gonna to wanna to edit this stuff as well in the mobile and desktop view. But not just that, you guys also wanna click here and scroll down because this is actually a button that your client is actually going to be able to interact with. And it brings them to a website. So this was something I actually messed up on at first because I didn't have it properly linked up. But remember back here, let me go back again, but you guys could see it says the app dot whatever your business name is dot com, right? What you're gonna need to do is actually copy this URL and then paste this right here because what it's gonna do is when a new user goes and visits this website, which is gonna be your software, they're gonna be brought to a login screen and you know they're gonna have login info that's been emailed to them. So with that login information, they're gonna to go to this site, which is your company, and then they're gonna log in and then they're gonna have the client view of your entire software. So it's actually not too complicated, but it is a little bit tedious. So make sure you guys are doing that for the uh, essentials plan and professional plan, like I had mentioned, because you wanna make sure that button's working. Otherwise, they're gonna be hitting you up and being like, uh, okay, where do I put this information? Because they're not gonna have anywhere to go. That is actually going to wrap up this uh, website setup because theoretically right now, if you want to start driving traffic to your site, you would actually be able to start having an entire running system that is gonna actually allow people to go interact with your website and actually buy something and you'd be paid for it. So obviously we don't have the automation set up, but that's going to be the next video. And believe me, it's not as overwhelming as you might think it is. It's actually, pretty much a lot of plug and play and then a few customizing texts and emails, but it's actually pretty fun to customize and mess around with. Uh, I spent a lot of time actually messing around with certain systems and they're pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to showing you that guys in the next video. So I'll catch you there.